We are the pioneer class of Crosstown High School. Woo! Come on, Daddy, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Ah! Yeah. 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 Y'all are messing with us. Where I come from, it's like pencil, paper, lecture. You come to Crosstown, it's completely different. You need to develop a deep understanding. That might be through research, that might be through your own pondering of your own self. Everyone can write an expository essay. There's room for all kinds of projects. Have another student who's making a dome that they're going to put on Mars, and they have ants. Ants are going to be the people. I want to see an integration of that content knowledge, those key concepts and terms that we've learned about, into your writing. You can't come in here thinking, I'm going to just take notes and listen to the teacher. You can be your best teacher. I had a student tell me the other day that going to Crosstown doesn't feel like going to school. But you know what the interesting thing was is she was like upset about that. Students oftentimes are still thinking in traditional models and modes of thinking. You really got to think about this differently. We're doing PBL, project-based learning. The way it's set up is that you don't really know that you're learning. So it's like tricking you into learning. A lot of people don't like that. I just feel like they're giving me busy work. Like, where's the content in this? What am I doing? They're so used to the idea that learning stuff means memorizing. What they don't realize is that that's not really learning. They want that ache of actually like feeling that they're learning, a little pulse in their head. People are claiming that they aren't learning anything. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna throw you into the deep end. No, they're throwing us more into like a hurricane, you know? <laughs> they're throwing me into the ocean. I can't swim at all. This is Titanic part two, you know? <laughs> my life, my school I can barely just... stand in a kiddie pool. <laughs> you talking about? We're all gonna have to go great behind because we didn't learn enough. We'll what have emotions. emotional intelligence. No actual intelligence, but emotional intelligence. I can't solve an equation, but I can tell you how I feel in three different types of poem. I can give you a haiku, <laughs> a sonnet with iambic pentameter, and Shakespearean rhymes. <laughs> Everybody, quiet. Shh. All right, what we're about to do, because I've had like a thousand complaints, like I've learned nothing this quarter. So that's how you feel. I'm going to show you how that is not true, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass out an EOC test. It's this big old test that you have to take at the end of the year. I hear these grumblings and rumblings of like, we haven't learned anything. I'm trying to show them that we actually did cover these standards that are required by the state. All right. Take one, pass around. All right, hey, no more tall game. Now you're going to use your reasoning skills one, to answer this two. test. She's like, because y'all think y'all not learning anything, have this test. And it's like a standardized state test that she gave us. I get this test and I take it and I'm just like answering the stuff subconsciously. Like I'm not even realizing that I'm having no problem answering these questions. We did it and I was like, wow, it was super easy. And I finished it with no problem. I didn't think I was learning anything. I take this test and I'm like killing it. I think I got used to teachers giving me the information that I need to know in order to succeed on tests. Across town, you have to become comfortable in being uncomfortable. It's something different every day. 